the top door slammer today is the Fuel Scooters. They're fantastic drag racing action, a terrific field here. And making the trip all the way from Geelong in Victoria is Phil Parker as part of the Parker Pups team. Phil, you love racing at Perth? Yeah, we've been over here last year. We were really keen to come back this year. We put the bus together to get back over. We bought two bikes this year, so uh, it's a big effort. And uh, yeah, it's a great track. It's a great facility, great crowd. So yeah, we're really looking forward to running tonight and tomorrow night. The Golden States, it's a big event. Uh, what are your hopes for this event? We want to put two bikes in the field. Um, we want to put one through first round, and the other one we want to take to the final. We won't say which is which, but one, one's going to the final, one's going to the first round if everything goes to plan. The Perth fans are definitely going to love this guy in action. Chad Nolan's with another competitor who's made the journey all the way from South Australia. Thanks, Dean. Well, Dennis, thanks a lot. Thanks, Chad. Happy birthday, by the way, this weekend at the Golden States. I'm joined by Sam Parker. Sam, I guess you would do anything to win an Andrew round in top bike, wouldn't you? Oh, mate, we're, we're just so keen to be here and just run real quick in front of this Western Australian crowd. We know we've got the bike that can do it. We've got Bill putting the tune in to do it. Just got to make sure that I get on there and do the job right. Assess the, pro uh, the progression of this bike. Of course, he got it sort of uh, midstream last season. Um, are you happy with how it's progressing? Has it gone to plan? Has it been a bit trickier than you anticipated? Yeah, absolutely. We got the bike uh, mid last season uh, with, a, with a lower spec engine in it. Um, just that was all the budget could afford at that stage. Uh, since then, we've brought out a brand new motor for it this season, which has a lot more horsepower um, available to us. And it's just a matter of getting that horsepower to the track. Uh, it's, it's proven to us in a number of half passes now. We've just got to get the front end and the back end together, and we'll be going quick. Try to describe to somebody out there that's watching, Sam, what it's like to straddle one of these things. I guess we're going to get a good onboard shot of you on the Parker Pumps machine, but try and describe a good run. Absolutely. Uh, it's, as you said, you'll see on the onboard camera, but uh, I sort of picture it as being strapped onto a cannonball and, and being shot out at the start line there, and then not only being strapped to it, but then trying to steer it, keep it off the wall and keep it out of the other lane. So it's, it's an intense ride. on having some issues with the engine there 966 in Ashford unable to get a representative run on the attitude racing entry Sam Parker there's a lot of excitement a lot of buzz around this Parker pumps entry Chad we're expecting some real improvement at this event for the likable Victorian yeah, the Parker pumps boys are just waiting for big things to happen we're on board with him now looking back as he wrestles this Puma powered top bike through the top end the seven oh, seconds <laughs> he pops up he's just got an oh. eyeful of air that would have hurt as we move on to our next matchup here, this is a real mouth-watering matchup. Honestly, the stud welding entry of Arthur Williams taking on the Parker Pumps machine of Sam Parker. We know he's desperate to run a seven, or under seven seconds for the first time. Arthur Williams runs through 6.45, but it's a big moment. Stuttering and stumbling his way still for a low seven-seconder. So still some development ahead. Sam Parker, can he go quicker and faster still on the Parker Pumps machine? He's up against Dennis Grant for Kane. In motorcycles. Grant launches hard as always, but eyes turn to Sam Parker. He's on another good number. How about he goes 675 oh. at 205 mile an hour? That's over 300 kilometers an hour. Whoa, look at the brakes. Is he going to stop it before the sand? Just, oh. just gets it done before the beach. And look at that. Yes, yes, Sam. Oh, breathe a sigh of relief. They're still there, mate. That's all good news. <laughs> that was an outstanding run for the Parker Puzz machine and the crowd are going off. He is one of the likeable Whoa. guys and gee, Mark Drew having some big problems. This is the first time we've seen the wild card this racing entry in Auto 1 qualifying for Andrew Top Bike. So it looks like both standing Whoa. and Drew Whoa. with some issues. Big moment for Standry. Good at it. Goodness me, what a way to round out qualifying at the Williams number one, but the speed has been the real tail there. Jay Upton in two, Sam Parker what an event so far ahead of Asherford Grant, Standrick, Phil Parker and Ian Asherford on the attitude entry still to put down a stout pass. Moving on to your matchups. Mark Asherford for attitude racing and the K&N motorcycles of Dennis Grant will get it on. Sid Standring for road line, earth moving and as we saw him, Sam Parker for Parker Pumps. Jay Upton for Honda is back and he'll be taking on Phil Parker. In the other Parker Pumps entry is at the Williams for Stud World in New Zealand. He's up against the other attitude racing Harley of Ian Asherford. Thing, but a good win in the end to Mark Asherford. Looks like it almost fell over or landed on the front wheel, and that's a real problem in Andrew Top Bikes. We move on to Sam Parker, a pair of very stout sixes in Auto 1 qualifying. The Parker Pumps machine from Geelong in Victoria up against Sid Standring. There's a real sense of occasion for the likeable youngster. He is a university student. 
shooting at the app. He's a bit of a geek. Can you believe it? And he rides a fuel scooter. That's pretty damn cool if you ask me. And Dad won't even let him ride a street bike because he thinks it's too dangerous. <laughs> but hey, he can go 300 kilometres an hour down a quarter mile on a motorcycle. That's right. fine. That's right. fine. This is actually Sam's first ever elimination race too, so all the pressure's on him right now to perform. Just waiting now for the to bump in here. This is a good matchup. Standring is no pushover. He knows this this track very well. He's a West Aussie, one of the many tough local Nitro Harley races as part of Andrew Championship Drag Racing. They're in now. Standring is off early. Park is going to get a win in the first round of eliminations for him. Well done, Sam Parker. Seven one two. Look at him. He's banging his head up and down. He's pumped. And so he should be right on him now at the Harley Davidson replay. Looking back at those eyes like dinner plate beaming <laughs> up the racetrack. This thing is just such an animal. But he holds on. You can see he's happy. Yes. Seven point yes. one two. <laughs> he gets a he's hundred percent win record right now. Hey. He doesn't want to go ruining that, but you can see he must be absolutely over the moon with that one. That's what we want to see in Andrew Championship Drag Racing. Plenty of emotion and hey, to have the courage chat to even mount one of these machines, even to accept the start, you've got to have guts and determination. It's been a huge weekend for Sam Parker. Other semi-final matchups at Andrew Top Flight. Mark Ashford for Attitude Racing up against Arthur Williams for Stud Welding. Sam Parker for Parker Pumps up against Jay Upton for Honda. They're going to be some big semi-finals. Dean, time to catch up with Sam Parker from Parker Pumps Racing. And Sam, you're one from one, mate. This Grand Spence Pit Report is a very special one. Your first ever Andrew Top Bike race and a big win. Yeah, absolutely. It was good to just get out there and get that first one out of the way. And uh, it was a bit of a wild ride, but uh, just kept on it enough to make sure we got there across the finish line first. speed record as we move on now to the white knight another west aussie local we've got two west aussies in the golden states door slammer final jay upton hoping to match up against the kiwi he's up against a guy that's having just a career event at the moment that's sam parker for parker pumps this will be a tight and tough drag racing matchup in anyone's language it certainly is, and I'm, I'm really struggling as to who's going to uh, take this one out because Sam Parker went 675 and has been showing signs of only getting better and better. This has the hallmarks of an all-time classics Golden State semi-final as we see Jay approaching the staging wings now, riding on board with him. I've got to say too, Sam Parker, 200, 205 miles an hour so far at this event. He has gone into the six-second zone on more than one occasion for the first time at this event. This is a really exciting one. Characteristically, he Whoa. gets the win for Parker. 215 miles an hour doesn't win the race, but that's a heck of a drag race. Well, we're riding in the Harley Davidson replay with Jay Upton on and off with the big head of flames that just leaned out at the end. Have a look at this one. Sam Parker sees the flame goes out, grabs a handful of throttle and chases him all the way to the finish line, lifts his body off the motorcycle, and he's struggling to pull the thing up again. That Sam Pitt's going to get you, Sam. He's racing it hard. He knew that Upton was oh. off as you touched on. Oh, so close to the beach at Quinana oh. Beach. Look at the legs flailing around on the Parker Pumps machine. But Jay Upton, congratulations, mate. You're through to a final. The team will be pumped. Parker flying. It's been terrific drag racing here. 